Hey, my name is Radu. Let me show you a very cool feature in PowerPoint 2016 called PowerPoint Zoom. It basically allows me to do this, to jump into a slide, next one and then come back. It allows me to navigate through my presentation and then come back to a summary slide. Very cool feature, let's see how it works. Ok, let's take an example, I have here a short presentation about how to create cool PowerPoint slides, I have 5 main ideas and here in the left you, you will see that my, my slides are grouped by uh, a few sections. I have here the charting session, section, the text and so on. Uh, sections are important in PowerPoint Zoom because what, it, what PowerPoint Zoom basically does, it, it allows me to jump into the first section move through the slides and then when the section is over come back to this slide okay so this is essentially what PowerPoint zoom does but we, uh, to do this I must have a few sections created here okay let's insert uh, a few options here PowerPoint zoom I can find it in the insert tab here in the middle and I have here three options I'll, I'll start with option number two I know it's kind of weird but it's more logical <laughs> to say to say this if I jump into this uh, into this option, I'll see that I have here the possibility to select the sections uh, I want that I want to insert into a slide. Let's hit cancel and maybe create another slide for this, so I don't mess up what I did earlier. Okay, going back, section zoom. I want to insert these sections. I don't want the, the closing and also I don't want the intro. Okay, click insert and four point. will insert for me uh, a few squares that contain these these sections if I click into the slide I can see that I can go into the first uh, section then come back or maybe in this one and then come back okay so PowerPoint zo zoom at the simplest is like this it allows me to go into the insert and if I have the sections created just put them over here another option that I have is to use maybe section zoom, summary zoom, sorry. And this allows me to maybe to define the sections while using this feature. For example, maybe I have a presentation that doesn't have sections, so I can go and check them off, uh, check, uh, check them one by one. In my case, because I already created the sections, these are already selected, okay? And if I click insert, I'll see that I have a summary section here. And here are the slides that uh, the sections that I have in the PowerPoint. For example, I can remove this one. I don't need it. And maybe the last one also can remove it. And let's test it out. Yeah, so it works pretty well. Okay, so this was uh, summary zoom. Uh, let's say that this is more um, easier to use because. Uh, in this uh, in this case, I had to arrange the these squares myself. You know? But in this case, they're already arranged, so it's much easier for me to to work with them. Uh, the second, the third option is slide zoom, and for this, I'll go to the end of the presentation because I'm here in, in the closing section, um, in the closing slide, and I just want to make sure that a few messages were heard. For example, maybe I want to add the slide zoom. Maybe to, let's say, this is a very important slide, put it here, and another important slide could be, let's say, maybe this one, okay. So these are the two very important slides in, uh, in my presentation, I can make this one bigger, smaller, how, however, however I want it. This looks pretty decent, not very good, but it's okay, okay. And what I would like to, you to see here is if I go into, you know, to, to see how this uh, this works out. If I click on this one, it goes on and on. It doesn't come back necessarily to to my closing uh, slide. And this is uh, because if I go into the zoom tools, I will see that return to zoom is unchecked. If I go into, into my first example, maybe the one here, I will see that return to zoom is checked. Okay, so this means that if I want to click on this and then come back to this slide, I would like to, I would have to check this one, return to zoom. Okay, same here. 
and let me add another slide to this uh, another slide zoom let to add this one okay and i'd like to put it here and make it a little bit smaller just for the fun of it okay and maybe if i look at these uh, examples maybe i don't like the fact that this is very gray and it looks a little bit out of place what i can do here is to use the zoom background option if i click on it it will remove the background of the slide it will not remove the images but it will remove the background i had gray background on that slide okay if i you can see it here it may be useful to to have maybe a more dynamic option here okay so this is powerpoint zoom a very cool feature in powerpoint you can see that you can use maybe the summary zoom to create a slide like this or maybe slide uh, maybe you can use how it's called it's called section zoom to create something like this and also slide zoom uh, if you want to mention only a few slides and then come back okay hope it was useful hope you learned something new if you like this video hit the like button and also maybe subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.